Hello everybody, it's a Zazpid here, and welcome to the Smash Ultimate I Can Do a Better Challenge. Rosalina and Luma. Rosalina and Luma. Okay, my favorite skin is number five. Without further ado, let's get into it. So, Rosalina and Luma, um, a pretty good combo character, and especially if you can master Luma, it, things can, things can be pretty good. Like, you see that? Like, even though we were in free fall, Luma was still able to attack for us. Boom. See, just look. Increased range. How is that a zero to death? How did you not attack me once? I'm curious. Maybe you might be able to... Hmm. I want to try that at, like, maybe zero percent. Another zero to death? Hold up. Let me try something. Nah, okay, hold up. I'm curious if we can do forward air to forward air to neutral B. Forward air. Okay, we can't cancel out of that. You can even do a smash attack while the Luma's coming back to you. That's amazing. 3 0 to deaths. Goodness gracious. If you master how to use Luma, if you master how to use Luma, it can be deadly, trust me. It can be very deadly. But on to the next round. On to round two. Is it two or three? It's three, okay. Come on, get back up here. Forward air, forward air. Okay, that does not work. Come back. No, darn it. It's so easy for them to just hit the Luma and then, like, look, look at that. And now their Luma's dead too. That forward air is very deadly though. You can edge guard really good with Luma. How did we just break your shield? Look, fully charged, how much damage does it do? Pretty decent damage. I don't know if that's stronger than like a forward smash or not. No, it probably isn't. Especially with, like, both of them doing it? Yeah, no, it's not. Not at all. On to the next round. On to round three. I just realized Rosalina has a silver crown. I thought it was golden. So you can't attack with Luma while you're doing your up B or anything, I think. Because I was trying to. How are you already dead? It's, it hasn't even been 30 seconds yet. It's, that was like 20 seconds. Come to me. Okay, he's not coming to me. He's dead. It lasts so long. That knockback is insane though.
Boom! Look at that, see? Great for edge guarding. And he can also kind of act as like a meat shield in a way. So you can just space yourself. Come back to me. Okay, it's getting a bit hard to try and do this. Okay, great. And you killed him. See? I was trying to hit you with my Luma. Did that actually just work? Let's go. It worked. On to the next round. On to round four. Three, two, one, go! I Okay, hold up, wait. You can cover some pretty good options. I'm not, I ain't even gonna lie. Oh my gosh, a zero to death? Because of the mix-ups. Boom, to the up smash as well is crazy. Okay, you killed him, but now I've got to kill you. Two zero to deaths. The mix-ups are insane. And then even when you don't have Luma, sure, it's going to be more difficult, but you can still probably find some combos. Dang, how do we get so far? It doesn't stall you in the air. That's actually kind of nice. You can do it while falling down. Kind of catch him with it. Like, look. Okay, well, uh, don't look at that. You're just... Oh, I thought you were going to die to that. Dead. Yeah, you're, you're just... I mean, you're, you're simply just dead. And I mean, the only thing that you're really losing, or risking, I guess, is just the Luma. Like... How long do you have to wait even for another Luma? I would say maybe like... It feels like you have to wait maybe like 10 seconds for like another Luma. I'm not exactly sure on that. I would say it definitely feels longer than how long you have to wait for Wario to get his his bike back. Which that takes 5 seconds. So I would say maybe like 10 seconds. But anyways, on to the next round. On to round 5. I'm not even gonna lie, I'm actually kind of enjoying playing as Rosalina and Luma. This is nice. Oh snap, well, yeah, I'm dead. That is an issue. Obviously, if you don't, if you don't face it the right way, you're gonna die. How did that pick up? The Luma hit? Oh, I was gonna wait for Luma to get in front of me and then I was gonna attack with him. I was gonna do like an up smash. How'd that clash? Also, this is like the one of the best songs, or one of my favorite songs in this game in Smash Bros. 
ultimate. Holland Delano. Absolute banger of a song. Okay, you got rid of my Luma, I got rid of yours. Oh my mid. Just die already. Goodness gracious, even it up. So easy to mix up with the side V here. I feel like it's dangerous to put the Luma out, actually. Come back, okay. Oh, darn it! You still managed to get to me? You're dead. See, we're making a comeback, and that skeleton is dying in the background. Okay, great. Yeah, I forgot about that. If you do enough damage to the Luma, it also dies. Oh my, really? Oh snap, yep, you're getting obliterated. The Luma Fist coming out, goodness gracious. that the victory screens used the same luma that you end off with because i had like a, a lime green like a toxic ooze luma and that would that would be cool if they did that but anyways on to the next round on to round six you know the song's always appropriate See, I've got to, like, steer clear of their Luma. That's what you always want to do. You want to stay away from the their Luma and try to get the Rosalina. Separate them. I guess, like, an easy way of separating them is probably just grabbing Rosalina. Because you only grab one of them. Also, if you can... Try to kill the Luma, just get rid of it. That's that's just easiest separation because it's permanent. Well, not permanent. It comes back eventually, but after a long while. Oh, snap, you getting wrecked. Get in the leader. Yeah, what you gonna do, huh? See, look, I got my toxic ooze Luma. And you got that. I don't know, you got the dough boy. Got that dough looking Luma. Well, now, now, now he's dead. <laughs> Get some damage in with that. See, and you don't have to worry that much about recovery. If you face towards the stage with it, you're fine. Oh my gosh, a three stock. We did much better than the last game. That's because we were somewhat locking in. On to the next round. On to round seven. Starting off with an up smash, okay, uh, interesting choice, I will say. That was very deadly for me. So the Luma stops even when you're charging a smash attack? 
That's nice. That's that could be used for mix-ups. No. Oh, we're both dead. Okay, it's fine. It was a trade-off. It's fine. Okay, really? Stop it. Just stop being mid. And die. That forward air. Pretty good on the knockback. Dude, on both sides? That is insane. parried that are you dead oh well, now you are yeah you're just, you're just gonna take that dang gosh dang on to the next round on to round eight Oh wow, I was gonna do that too. Wow, well I mean I did do it too. Yeah, maybe I should call my Luma back. Gosh dang! Oh, I was gonna catch you with Luma coming back. And you can't get yourself out of a grab. Oh, we charged that smash attack. You can technically do smash attacks in the air with the Luma. Do you know how insane that is to think about? Darn it. Oh no, he's dead. That's fine. Oh yeah, we got you. See, we're, we're keeping our distance and we're utilizing the loom a lot more. Oh. <clears throat> Anyways, I got that toxic green loom. about to say, if you were just gonna take that. Well, you're dead. Boom. Yeah, that's right. Anyways, on to the final round. On to the final round, level 9. I'm locking in 100%. Oh my gosh, I wanted to do up tilt, not up smash. Okay, I singled you out away from your Luma. You're trying to get back. That's fine. You know, you can you can get back all you want. Oh my mid. I thought I was going to lock in. What am I doing? You killed my Luma. Dude, I was trying to shield. How do you only have 22% so far? Oh my mid. 
I was gonna forward smash, not forward smash, forward air. Yeah, what are you doing? Bro, what? Up air comes out quicker than down air? Bruh. Well, thanks for giving me the tip. Looks like your Luma's dead. Okay, really? Like, what are you supposed to do in this sort of situation? Why are you coming towards me? Your Luma's coming towards me, why? What? Well, your Luma's dead, so now you're dead. It's like I'm having to focus against two different people at once. Well, three, really. Well, actually, four. I'm having to focus on me, the enemy, my Luma, and then... Well, I don't really focus on their Luma that much, unless if they're, like, together. Or if it's near me. Up smash, gonna do it. Finally, let's go. I'm not even gonna lie, that was kind of difficult. Alrighty, so that was the Smash Ultimate. I can do a better challenge, Rosalina and Luma. So, Rosalina and Luma, um, kind of like a midweight character, I would say. Not really on the heavy side. I wouldn't necessarily say it uh they're a lightweight character or i guess she's a lightweight character because really it's mainly rosalina not really luma um pretty good recovery doesn't have any well no that's no she does have a projectile her side b her side special oh i didn't even demonstrate her down b well we couldn't really have her down special she uses to sort of redirect projectiles so they just she sort of nullifies them, so they don't do anything. She can also pull items towards herself by doing that as well. But you won't really find people doing that unless if it's too redirected projectile, so they won't take damage from it. Um, oh great, my dogs are barking. I don't know if y'all can hear that. I apologize if y'all do. Um, the Luma is very essential to just for combat in general for the Rosalina and Luma. The Luma is very essential. Keeping your distance, edge guarding. It's just a meat shield. It's the one thing that can actually shoot the projectile. I mean, like, and it's great for combos. Like, it's, it's, it's just a very good thing in general. But it's difficult to control. If you can master how to control it, you can become a force of destruction. You can be something to a force to be reckoned with, you know? A good counter pick against Rosalina and Luma? Hmm, who would be a good counter pick? I mean, I was saying that, you know, something that you always want to do when you're playing against Rosalina and Luma is to try and separate them. Try and make it to where you separate the Rosalina from the Luma and then you go after Rosalina. I would say maybe have better have better melee range. Don't really have a projectile because that's kind of going to be useless. I mean, maybe someone like Ike would be a good counter pick, especially since um, it's going to be hard to knock him around. I mean, maybe that would be good for Rosalina and Luma for combos, but if you manage to keep your distance with Ike, like with his nares, 
and as just as aerials in general, I feel like it shouldn't be too hard to to get rid of them. Like you can probably easily kill the Luma with Ike, and then you could probably also uh, like even if they try to use Luma as a meat shield, just with the uh, sheer range that he has with a sword. I could probably hit through and manage to hit both of them. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like the video. Make sure to subscribe. And I'll catch you all on the flip side. Goodbye.